Hey guys. I feel like I just did this. This week kind of went fast. Um, Hannah, your video, I think most of what we saw was your legs. And yes, I do know who you were talking about. So I don't really know what you were talking about. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Anyway, bucket list. I think most of mine is a little bit cliche, but I try to think of things and you know, it just didn't didn't happen. Um I guess I'm just gonna take life as it comes. But here's what I have. Graduate college. Um I'm not spending all this money and not graduating college. I wanna go on a cruise. I wanna go on a cruise so bad. Um, if it was with you guys, it would be fun. But, who knows? They're expensive. Maybe I'll get my parents to pay for it. Yeah, right. Um, what's next? Have children? Duh. Isn't that a given for me? I mean, I'm super excited for spring break because my little cousin will be 10 days old when I come home and I'm We'll get to see her and meet her, and I'm so excited. Um, next, teach the. I would have been in this major if I didn't want to teach, but I mean, who knows? By the time I graduate college, I may not want to teach anymore. Um, the uh, the president of the theater club here has me has told me that. Once I do this show, which by the way, I got the part I wanted. I am Mrs. Pennywise in here in town. The shows are April 11th, 12th, and 13th, which is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and April 18th, 19th, 20th, which is also a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's two consecutive weekends um, in April. And I'm kind of glad we don't have Sunday shows. Um, but they're, all of the shows are at 7.30, and they're $5 for students, so... Okay, that was my commercial. Anyway, the president of the theater club has told me that if I don't switch to a theater major after doing this show, that she will be surprised. I don't think I'm going to switch to a theater major because I kind of love my education major. We'll see. That has yet to be determined. Get married. I think that's on almost everybody's bucket list. Like, ever. Unless they're already married then it might have been on their bucket list. I don't know. Anyway, I want to see more shows in New York. Duh. Um. I mean, if I have enough money to do so, then heck. Um. <laughs> don't judge me. I want to fill this whole coloring book that Caitlin gave me for Christmas. Um. That's on my bucket list for this semester. I didn't split them like you guys did, like semester and life. I just kind of put them all down as I thought of them. Um, this one is also stupid. I wrote this as Kate, I was I was watching Caitlin's vlog. Caitlin, your hair is super long. Oh my god. Um, but I wrote down. I don't know what I was thinking. Feed something to my hair to make it grow as fast as Caitlin's does. I don't know. Um, I would like my hair to grow, though if I'm going to keep dyeing it, maybe it shouldn't grow fast, because then I'd have to keep dyeing it a lot. Um, what's next? I can't see my paper. Singing get paid for it? I mean, that might be a long shot, seeing as that's not what I'm going to pursue with my life at this moment in time, February 8th, 2013. Um, but... It would be nice to sing for something and like do what I really love and make money at the same time. Um, the next thing I have on here is be Rebel Wilson. I want to be Rebel Wilson. The only problem being that I'm not Australian, but I could work around that. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I wrote the same thing twice. Okay. Next. Write a novel. 
I don't think it's ever going to happen. I can't sit still long enough to like think of anything to even start writing. But, I mean, I can have goals that are fun. I don't know. It's on there. The next is to be Ursula in a production of The Little Mermaid and to be Tracy in a production of Hairspray. I think those are the only two roles that I would really, really want. Um, just because. I mean, like, as show opportunities come up and I find out what show it is, I'm sure, like, in each show that there would be a part that I'd want, but who doesn't? Um, I think... I'd even want to be Ursula more than Tracy, just because she's awesome. And the costume, uh, yes please, just no roller skates. Next, I want to invent something. Like, I don't know, something, something, something like that I can sleep in at college and but it'll still do my hair and feed me breakfast while I'm asleep. And then I just get up and go to class. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know how I would go about that, but I mean, I guess that's kind of the point. Anyway, um some point in my life, I would like to have a job that I make six figures. Again, education, not going to happen. Um, unless I'm like a pro college professor, but I don't know if I want to deal with snobby old kids. I think I want to deal with snobby little kids, because you can kind of make them nice. Okay, um, that didn't make sense. I'd rather work with little kids than people the age I am now. I find myself obnoxious. Can you imagine if I had to teach people the same age as I am now? Um, but yes, I would like to make six figures in my life. If my Pinterest habit has anything to do with what my house will be like when I get older, I better have an independently wealthy husband and a maid because, oh my goodness, Pinterest is wonderful. The ideas it's giving me, not so much. What's next? I want to sing at a karaoke bar. Um, that could be good or bad. I could be sober or drunk. Who knows? Um, if that happens, at least Shannon will probably be with me. But, I don't know. We'll see if that actually happens. I'm sure it will at some point. If not, that's what we're doing for my bachelorette party. Okay, okay. Um, learn to drive stick. I don't know how. You know, I, I guess these days you don't really have to know how to be able to get a car. But I think it would be helpful in life, I guess. At some point. Maybe. Possibly. Um, I want to, I lost my train of thought, um, what was I going to say to you, I don't remember, um, alright, well, I don't know. I think I, I need to get over this whole like I don't know um thing if I'm gonna be a teacher. So I should probably put that on my bucket list. One of my professors told me that I should never ever tell a student that their work is okay. They can give us a list of 101 things we could state instead of okay. So we'll see how that goes. Um. Look in your, make sure you look in your mailboxes. I'm mailing you all something. Hannah, I need your address.
or else you're not getting yours. It'll happen, or it won't happen, whatever. Um, I want to learn how to develop my own pictures, like my own photographs. I mean, Target's great. I can click a button and have a picture, but I think it would be really cool to be able to do like the old-fashioned like water or hang, whatever thing. Um, although probably very expensive. Uh, looking at my camera right now, I see that I have my bracelet on, and Caitlin, Shannon, and Amanda, um, Shannon, your bracelet is done. I cleaned my room before I left for school, and I left it there. Whoops. Caitlin, yours is half done, and Amanda, I haven't started yours yet. Um, I'll get there. It's been kind of busy. I have 8 a.m.s this semester and 9 a.m.s the other days. And I don't know why I did that to myself. But it's, it's a little rough for now. I still have the afternoons off, but once I start rehearsals, it's like 6 to 10 every day until my life ends. Okay, no, until the show ends. But, so, yeah. I was planning on going home next weekend, and Maddie's going to come with me, but I can't do that if I have rehearsal. I guess I should find out if I have rehearsal on Friday. Um, but either way, I'll tell you now, if I have rehearsal on Friday, I will be putting a video up. If not, I'll be going home Friday, so... Maddie and I will film a music video for you guys, but it's not going to go up until Sunday when I get back from school, back to school, because I don't, like, the internet at my house won't let me upload videos to YouTube, so, um, if I go home, then there won't be a video Friday, but if I do go home, what? If I don't go home, there will be. Um, does that count as a punishment? I can't really control my internet situation at home. Um, and if I didn't have an 8 a.m. on Friday, then I would do it Thursday night and post it at midnight, but I kind of go to bed at, like, 10 on Thursdays if I can. Um, I kind of rambled a little bit. Anyway, um... Okay, I'm done with that. Um, I hope you all have a nice Valentine's Day, I guess. I mean, I guess Shannon and Brian, well, Nathan watches these too. Happy Valentine's Day. The rest of us, happy Singles Awareness Day. I'm still giving out Princess Valentine's. Um... Grant, if you watch these, my Howard bobblehead is on my desk, and it actually is kind of creepy when I wake up in the mornings, because it looks at me, but it's really the only way, place I could put it. Um, also, because Chris watches these sometimes, happy birthday yesterday, you're old. Yeah. Um, alright. I think I'm gonna be done. Maybe. I don't think there's anything else to add to my bucket list. I think this is the only time I've shot my whole video in one, like, shot. And I don't, I'm not gonna edit this. I don't want to. I have a lot of work. I have a paper to write. I should probably do that. I have two papers to write, and I have to watch a video. Poop. Oh well. Maddie's going home this weekend, so I won't have anything to do. So I'll do work, I guess. Also, I think I've watched Pitch Perfect eight or nine times since I've been back to school. I think I have a problem. I admit it. But I'm, like, obsessed. And I think it's partly because 
the music is always stuck in my head, so I compensate for that by watching the movie. Um, but I have introduced it to people. Um, my roommate and I watched it Wednesday night. She had never seen it, and she loved it. She likes Fat Amy. And I watched it with Maddie last night. She also likes Fat Amy. So do I. I mean, I want to be Rebel Wilson. Minus the Australian. Um, also, I love Anna Kendrick. I watched a couple of the other movies she's in. The movie Elsewhere is creepy. And the movie Camp is kind of dumb. But the movie Camp is based off of State Door Manor, which is the camp that Andrew went to this summer. It's pretty cool. It's actually filmed there. But it was kind of a lame movie. Um, but it took me the longest time to figure out that Anna Kendrick and Rebel Wilson were both in What to Expect When You're Expecting. They were both in that movie. Um, and Rebel was in Bridesmaids kind of blew my mind a little bit and then I was like oh yeah I already knew that but now I said I was done a minute and a half ago and I'm still not done so um I love you goodbye and I will see you guys' beautiful faces singing next week oh and I'm gonna add the cliche I thing on here I want to be friends with you guys forever just because you're awesome and I love you and I mean who else am I gonna be friends with for the rest of my life yeah. Love you. Goodbye. And I will see your singing slash fake singing beautiful faces next week. <laughs>